Hey guys, I just wanted to uh, show you guys the difference a day makes as far as hunting goes. Um, I kind of felt bad that I cut yesterday's thing so short. But as you can see, I'm actually back at the same value village as I was yesterday. Um, and this is what was there since yesterday. I didn't think about videotaping in the store. But I got Cool Borders 4. Wetrix, that was $3.99. Mischief Makers for 6 bucks. Uh, where are the other games? Micro Machines, 64 for 6 bucks. Mario Kart 64 for $8. N64 controller with awesome stick, $3. A black N64 controller with official memory card, $3. And then I got, this is actually kind of harder to find. It's one of those uh, teal controllers or whatever it is, 3 bucks. And I had a 30% off gift card because I filled everything all up. Uh, so that came to $26 in total. So... That's the difference that a day makes, guys. Um, I'm going to see if I can go to uh, another couple stores. So, have a good one. Alright, guys. I'm going to take you to the store that I don't like. Um, actually, I really despise this store. Um, and the reason I despise it is because... I don't know if they're all like this, but this one definitely is. Um, Sunset Riders for the Super Nintendo for $39.99. That's why I don't like this store. I haven't been here since then. Um... And I can't really show you the title of the store from being inside the car because I'm stuck behind a Honda Odyssey here. But I will show you when I get out. Ugh. There it is there. It's called Talese. So I, it's the first time I've been here in about a year. I fucking hate this store. But uh, we'll see. Maybe they got something good. Couldn't record around where the uh, the games were, but it was all sports games for PS2, except for one PS1 game, which was Railroad Tycoon. And every game ranged from eight dollars to fifteen dollars. So there's another reason never to come back to this store ever again. It's just fifteen dollars for NHL 2006 on the PS2. That's just fucking retarded. Anyways. Um, to go to another value village and I'm actually going to go to that other city that I missed yesterday guys so we'll, we'll do that and I'll see you in a bit hey guys we're back at the value village where yesterday I picked up the uh, Bart versus the world and uh, those Lord of the Rings figures so let's see what a day makes well they had absolutely nothing new there was a laser disc player which is kind of cool but that's about it so we will see uh, what the next store has. So there we are, guys. We're about to get on the highway towards Toronto or Toronto if you're American. So I will see you in the next city. I gotta try and shift with my phone. Shifting. Okay, that's good enough. That's enough of that. Well, guys, we're at the third Valley Village of the day. Um, this is the one I wanted to go to yesterday, but wasn't able to. Hopefully, they still got a bunch of games there. Who knows? But I'll go inside and see if I can find anything. Alright guys, this is the second last place we're going to go, it's Microplay, uh, all they sell is video games, but they do have old video games there, so we'll go inside and see if I can find anything, I can almost guarantee they won't let me videotape inside though, but anyways, we'll see.
Well, guys, I don't know if you can see that or not, but uh, the sign says the beat goes on. They occasionally have GameCube games and stuff, so I quickly stopped in there. Uh, I picked up Pokemon Coliseum for six bucks. They only had two, two games. They had this and uh, Spider-Man. But six bucks, I ain't complaining. Well, guys, this is the last place that we're gonna go. Uh, it's another Salvation Army. Um, so hopefully I can find something in there. And the whole time that I've been, how many times I've been to the store? Probably 30, 40, 50 times. I found one game ever. It was Super Mario Brothers 2, and it was three bucks. So maybe this will be the turnaround. Well, guys, I found one game. It's Home Run King for three bucks. Um, that was actually there last time, but I never picked it up. But I rise to get it. But actually, got some interesting stuff. They said that these were G.I. Joes. I actually got them out of the auction. I have no idea if they're G.I. Joes or not. I don't know anything about G.I. Joes. Well, some of them actually do say G.I. Joes on them. But there's six things in total. Got some Jeeps. I don't think that this Jeep is a G.I. Joe. Um, sorry for the shitty lighting. I've only got the one overhead light in the car here. Double light, maybe. Uh, that's what happens when you buy a base model car. I got this. Bag. It's like a uh, G.I. Joe ammunition box, and it's full of like little weapons and guns and bazookas and stuff. And then I got this guy here, uh, Corporal Gimpy, because he's missing a leg. And I got another Hummer inside there, and I got this tank, and this tank actually says 1986 on the bottom of it, so... Who knows? I paid 25 bucks for the G.I. Joe stuff, so hopefully it's worth at least that. Anyways, guys, no idea if you can see my face or not, but uh, that's the hunts for today. I'll recap when I get home. All right, have a good one. Well, guys, here's a quick recap of what I got. I left the G.I. Joe stuff in the car just so uh, I didn't want to bring it in. So start off with this. I picked up Cool Borders 4 for the PlayStation 1. I picked up... Home Run King for the GameCube. I also picked up Pokemon Coliseum for the GameCube. I picked up Micro Machines 64 Turbo. The N64. I picked up Mischief Makers for the N64. Someone just sent me a text message in the middle of this video. <laughs> I picked up Wet Tricks for the N64. And the last game that I got, I picked up uh, Super Mario Kart, or Mario Kart 64. Um, and then I picked up the following, I picked up a uh, black N64 controller, and it's got a memory card in the back of it. I also picked up a gray controller, no memory card. And finally I picked up one of these uh, aqua green, or aqua blue, or whatever, uh, colored controllers, which I've been looking for in these for a while, so, and each one of the controllers was $2.99. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it, and uh, have a good one.